Hey guys, Michelle here from Smart Me Pink, and today I'm going to be doing a demo review on the Magic Nude Liquid Powder by L'Oreal Paris. It is a bare skin perfecting makeup with a SPF of 18, and it says to shake it up real good. Yeah, let's see what the back says. Other than shaking it up really well, it says to apply it with your fingers um, directly onto the skin. Not recommended for use with a sponge or a brush. So that's good to know. Which is different because I don't, like any of my other foundations don't specify like the best way to apply. So this is kind of cool. Um, actually, before I do that, I have just a bare face right now. I'm going to apply my Acne Dote. This is the Alba Botanica Oil Oil Control Lotion. It's an all matte finish with 2% salicylic acid. Because as you can see, my face is breaking out like a crazy cat. So I'm just going to lightly apply this to where I break out the most and where I need a little bit of moisture. I also found that with using this, putting on a moisture, um, like barrier or moisturizer first helps it like blend in with the skin really well. I also found that when I used my Studio Gear Prime Objective Primer, it stayed on even longer with that flawless, pretty, not dewy, but not matte kind of look. I don't know. I'm really impressed with this foundation, and you'll see why, because it just covers everything up, yet blends right in with the skin. So I'm just going to let that sit for a second while I shake this up. Um, oh, by the way, my... My shade is in the 316 Nude Beige. I'm just going to open the top. It's just this tiny little spout, you would say. And I like to pour it onto the back of my hand. It's very, very liquidy. Very liquidy. And then just taking like two fingers. Actually, I don't know why I put it on my index finger. I usually just put it on my ring finger and middle finger. And then just start patting it into the skin. I'm lightly just like doing this like sweeping motion. I don't want to like buff it into the skin because I want it to actually stay remotely where I'm placing it. And this is just one coat or one layer right there. You can still see the breakouts a little bit through the like first layer but it feels so silky going on and it doesn't have too much of a, a very very light scent I'm not even sure what it would be I don't know it's not fragrancy it has more of like a paint smell I, yeah unless that's what my moisturizer my moisturizer that um, antidote whatever has a very strong scent to it so that could be messing with this one. So I'm just lightly patting it into the skin or doing like a light sweeping motion. Put some under the eyes. As you can see. And this is a really great color for me. I don't see too much of a kind of demarcation, whatever it's called. and do the forehead yeah I wore this yesterday with the studio gear primer and hours later it still looked um, in place it didn't have that oil slicked moved look like I still had some shine uh, or I, I got some shine but it didn't you couldn't see the space between my skin and the makeup it was still blended in very naturally I would say that this gives a light to medium coverage because you can still see the redness poking through. I would still have to go through with a concealer or like a second shot of this in certain areas. But for those of you without the active acne that I do, this would be perfect everyday foundation. Uh, it's very liquidy so you don't need a lot. It goes like a long way. Like I use that whole strip that I just first poured out for my whole face. Um, and I just kind of pat it into certain areas. So this is after one layer. I'm going 
gonna go ahead and just take like a little bit extra using just my finger like this. And then I can go through kind of like concealer style and just, I'm going to pat it onto the areas that need a little bit more coverage. And even though it's a, like a liquid to powder, which is what gives it that silky feeling, it doesn't cake up on me. I would really, really like that. I've tried other foundations where you go in for a second layer that are liquid to powders and it, it just looks like you put like chalk on your face. Again, this is a, the second coat or layer. Um, let me get a little bit more up here. I might have missed that all together. But, um, there we go. Overall, I'm really impressed with the the feel of the makeup and um, the wear of the makeup, even though I just put it on today, but I've used it other days and it stayed very well on the skin. I Like my Revlon Color Stay, it's more of a coverage foundation, but after a few hours, it kind of gives that like, like you could see your skin and then you could see where the makeup was or now is and I just, I hate that. I feel like it's just so embarrassing. I highly recommend this if you have oily, lightly oily skin. Um, I have combination skin where I get oily in my T-zone after a while, but I do have r normal to dry skin in the patches where I have my acne and um, around like my cheeks and things like that. I have to put like tons of moisturizer on at night. So I recommend this if you have that kind of a skin tone or skin, uh, what's the word? Skin type. Um, I wouldn't put it on dry skin because it does cling like to my dry patches that I have um, put too much like acne treatment on. So I wouldn't recommend that if you have dry skin. Definitely I'm going to go through with a concealer and cover up the rest of my blemishes, but this is a perfect everyday makeup. I would recommend a heavier foundation for if you're going on like a special date night or if you're having a photo shoot or things like that. But for an everyday makeup, this is perfect. I only evened out my skin and gave it a little bit more of a finished look. Um, again, I'm, it will go through with a concealer and you know go through all my spots. It's not like a fix all foundation. Let me know if you've tried this out in the comments below. Don't forget to click subscribe and like if you like this video. Check out my blog at sparklemebeat.com and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. So I did put some concealer on so you can see like a finished look um, all together. I put on the Hidden Agenda Concealer in Light Medium from Studio Gear. It's a cream based concealer. It sits really well on this foundation. Um, again, I'm really impressed with it. It just kind of like, it feels really soft and nice and natural. And uh, for those that don't have as much active acne as I do, this would look perfect on you. I highly recommend it. Check it out and let me know what you think again. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. So I decided that I was going to show you guys what it looks like with the Prime Objective Studio Gear Primer. So like this one. Sophia's here, so she might have some input for us. The sore pill. I just kind of pat this sore into the pink. skin. Sore pink. Sparkle you pink. Sparkle you pink? It sparkled me pink, silly. Sparkle it pink. Just kind of. The Push the silicone into the skin. Take this up real good while it's setting in for a second. It literally like just feels even more like silk on the skin. It's so nice. I said yesterday when I filmed the first half of this review it's not a full coverage foundation so it's not gonna cover everything but it's perfect for everyday wear and then just going through with some concealer on your trouble spots I do get that powdery finish after like a minute or so like I feel it a little bit different but it's still that silky really luxurious kind of feel to it. It's different than any other foundation I've tried. Mm -hmm. Feel my skin, does it feel silky? Oh, I can put my makeup on your, on your chin. There's makeup on my chin, do I need a little bit more? Yes. Okay, let's just pat on a little bit. So you 
video gear. It's like a cream based concealer. It goes really well over this. It just kind of blends right in. And I'm just using my fingers. I don't even feel like busting out a brush today. And I've been breaking out so much, even though it like sounds kind of productive to use your fingers. But I wash my hands before I put the makeup on. But sometimes I feel like the brush can hold the bacteria in and I don't feel like cleaning them every day. So I'm going to wait till my skin is cleared up a bit more to uh, bust out some of the brushes. Do you like it? Does it look nice? Does it feel nice? Yes. I think it feels nice. Yeah. Yeah. I feel it. You feel it? Yeah. I can see, see him. See, in this mirror, it looks like it I'm pretty too. even, but then I look in the camera and I don't look very even at all, so. <laughs> looks much better than having nothing on my face, so I can give it that much. You okay? I'm looking for my lip gloss. Ooh, this is like my favorite lip gloss right now. Do that. It doesn't last very long, but that's because it's not super sticky. But it smells so good, I don't even mind applying it a million times. Oh, by the way, this is the Benefit Sugar Bomb Lip Gloss. Ultra Plush. I'm not sure if it has like a color of Sugar Bombs the color. But I have like a little sample that came in my Ipsy Lash Bash party. So this is just a out the door ready to go, a little bit of concealer. Probably could go back and do a little bit more to get my spots. But otherwise, very natural. And I like it. It's lightweight. It doesn't feel heavy. Like I don't want to like scrub it off my face, you know, a couple hours after wearing it. There are some makeups that are you know, that I use that I just feel like I just want it off, but I don't really notice this. So just let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.